the returning New Zealand All Black Sevens, the Olympic silver medalists. They're back, the men in black against Los Pumas Sevens, led out by Gaston Rival, the great Gaston Rival. An emotive occasion for these Argentinians in the wake of the parting of Federico Aramburu. He'll be in their hearts as they throw down against one of the most venerated nations on the HSBC World Series. It's been 762 long, long days since we've seen the boys in black on the HSBC World Series. Vancouver, Vancouver 2020, that was the last time, but they're back. Gaston Revol gets us underway in what is one of the most hotly anticipated matches I've ever known to kick off a pool stage, Rob Vickerman. Yeah, the All Blacks back on the seven series. This is where we want to see them mention the day. 762, that's a long time to wait. It's a long time for them to have been watching these last events happen. Big points to prove, debuts across the board. Can't wait to see what we're about to witness. Well, these two met last in December 2019 on the World Series, but let's not forget about the ding dong they had in Tokyo in those Olympics. Yes, the All Blacks came away 35-14 winners, but Goodness me, did these Argentinians stress their defense as they are now enjoying their first possession of the match. In such a rich vein of form, the hooped men of South America. And with a World Rugby Sevens Player of the Year in their ranks, a loop round, a chance down the left flank for the Argentinians, a bounce back inside. And it is try time for Luciano Gonzalez. The Argentinian machine, who many of these All Black Sevens players would have been watching, tear up the HSBC series. He gets the mark off against the men in black. Argentina coming into this so consistent. Three bronze medals and a silver this season. The consistency they've shown, they've started with in this game. And that man plays possessed when he is on the pitch Gonzalez we continue to be a feature for this Argentinian team relentless in their pursuit he's a man to follow on the pitch no extras added from the kick there's an intensity to Gonzalez isn't there <laughs> there's an intensity to that man and that's why he's just registered try number 16 for this World Series campaign Argentina with the start Oh, and with a very good kickoff, keenly contested, and the captain of the All Blacks taking it, and in the hands of Joe Weber, number 11. One of the stalwarts of this All Black 7 side, but penalty at the breakdown, Argentina go quick. Revol, so many men to choose from, huge shot comes in to hold Argentina in their tracks, they're so close. Three meters shy, composure required. Oh, one meter. And they give away the penalty. White line fever, Argentina coming across. And that's a real rarity. Argentina, one of the most disciplined teams on the series. Just three penalties a game they give away. To give a one in those situations, not what they want to be doing. But the return to New Zealand. You've got to say, it's moments like that that really do highlight their absence from, from the game. They've probably played more rugby in the last two years than any other country, such has been their uh, ability to cope with things. But it's that adjustment to how different teams play against them. Argentina are always desperate around the breakdown. And those split seconds and different techniques are what they haven't experienced other than that window at the Olympics. So this is going to be one of the areas Argentina will really try and look to capitalise on against the All Blacks. Well, the head-to-head -head doesn't read too well for Argentina over the years against these All Black Sevens players. 
but the recent form that they've been on and New Zealand who've been out of the World Series mix for so long we're seeing two fresh teams go toe to toe New Zealand as has been said they've been hitting their wits in Fiji in domestic Fiji competition and just speaking to one of the All Black Sevens players in the week he reckons that the top six of that Fiji domestic competition any of them could win a World Series <laughs> well here comes Joe Weber hopping and skipping and it's an embarrassment of riches down that left flank it's not with a flyer but Sam Dixon knows where the try line is returning from injury returning with the captaincy and returning with a try yeah, if you want to look at a man really personifying the word resilience you want to know Dixon but that is a lovely touch from Newstub the experience of the middle linking up with Webber who sadly has got rid of the attachment of the back of his head then I'll make sure they move like out of the matrix but there he gets that line around the outside and then Dixon gliding in bit of pressure coming in from Dalmestre tries to target the ball but you're gonna have to go some to get the ball off Dixon towering presence on the sevens field tied up five apiece and how good to see that man back truly denied his Tokyo bow at the Olympics with a late hamstring in Townsville in one of the final training sessions before the All Black Sevens jumped on the plane but he's back he's got the captaincy he's got his boys back in the match well the kickoffs well dealt with by the nation with the best kickoff receipt record in the HSBC World Series. That one was there for their taking as Gonzalez takes a bit of contact and Argentina sniff an opportunity, but well tackled by Weber. Four squirts free, a couple of knock-ons in there, I think. Yeah, first one off the foot, John Way recognized that, but then slightly blind to him was the second knock-on. His growth, not normally someone that makes errors. Usually pretty perfect in body and mind, to be fair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, the boy from Mendoza is more gym, accustomed okay? to yeah. wash it. Yeah. Crossing Stand the whitewash the of oppositions so far. He tries to his name. Thank you. Crouch. Maybe room for improvement in the uh, breakdown Bind. region. Maybe we'll give him that. Chance now to see this backline hopefully go. We're going to reset the scrum, but Joe Webber, one in, of the best the steppers on the okay. game. Been around a fair while. Crouch. Love to see him pull the strings. Fine. A bit of an experience outside of him, but we are hearing Set. plenty of talent to be excited about. A number of debutants to unleash for the All Black Sevens from the bench. Nice wraparound play in the midfield. And it is as easy as that for Moses Leo. The North Harbour winger marks his debut with a dot down. And it's case in point for the exciting talent coming through. Love how New Zealand breed their impressive seven players it is a plethora of talent in that country led by their schools rugby lovely loop play new step on the outside then it's just execution of the two on one a chance to see Moses Leo all six foot two of him gliding around that outside do really well with their recruitment player ID not difficult when there is just so much talent in this country but once again it looks like they've got a blessing of riches out wide well, goodness me, Marcos Moneta chased hard to make the conversion as tricky as possible, but it was to no avail because New Zealand slot it and they lead Argentina 12 points to five. Well, how about that for a first half, Rob Bickman? The All Black Sevens. Argentina five, New Zealand All Black Sevens 12. Big seven minutes away. With Andy Newstub to put pressure on Argentina from the kick. Well, into the hands of the most dangerous man in Argentinian colours, Marcos Moneta, the World Rugby Sevens Player of the Year. Tackled well, and Revol is pulling the strings outright. Ferocious tackling from the All Blacks, but Argentina find a way through. And the handling is crisp, and it's sweet, and it's in the hands of Gonzalez, who's breaking free, looking for that offload. But... The New Zealand Sevens defence cinch Your around. They have to flash right. They've got the numbers. They've got the jerseys. They just need the pass, but it goes behind under pressure. Oh, recovered mercifully. If you're of an Argentinian persuasion, beautiful offload. And then 
diving through the black jerseys. Herman Schultz will go to the TMO. And that was something of sevens. It could well be redemption. Herman Schultz, the man who couldn't quite get the pass away on the right previously, gets a reprise, another opportunity to dive over. Jordan Way. Craig in the net to look at the screen. Well, there you go. When you're a man that big no, and you're flying through the air, you're, you're a little bit tricky to, to stop, and that is unequivocal. You're till five minutes. Down with pressure, in control, and Argentina right back in this one, needing this kick. No dice from the drop goal, so New Zealand retain their lead, although it has got that little bit more slender. It's an interesting tactic there, Revol, who is known to be one of the best drop kickers in the game, didn't try and convert. He's now taking the restart, but that could be a crucial two points for Argentina missed, of which you'd say was one and truly in Revol's range. Well, Revol tries to pin it on Dixon, tight on the touchline, and he does well to cause the confusion. Lock on. These kickoffs, Argentina pride themselves, absolutely pride themselves. They are so far ahead of other teams on the series when it comes to retaining possession. 50% in Seville that they retain. And that is not out of keeping with largely on the series. 37% they've retained, which is streaks ahead of everybody else. It's massive. It's, it's the most important set piece when we talk about the game of sevens, to get that ball back off the restart. Secondly, now we're seeing a lot more scrums. Now, when you get... A pack yeah, like these Argentina crunch. guys, they should hold their own. Then you've Find. got a lightning back line. Sabato, Moneta and Gonzalez, probably three of your best. This could be a great combination. Revol travels a little bit from the base and he drags them. All Black Sevens defenders, Marcos Moneta with the stutter. But New Zealand ain't buying it out wide. The scorer, Gonzalez, in at half back. Ooh, Revol's running out of options. He doesn't run out of legs or composure. Argentina just probing and prodding those far reaches of the field, covering all the blades. Backwards. Got to be so careful against Argentina for this kick in behind. You drop a player back, it means there's less players in that defensive line. That is a huge collision, but I didn't see an arm wrapped. Didn't get that arm up. Well, lucky to stay on the field, maybe. No arms in the tackle from Newstar. Argentina don't mind, though. They're happy to play and play. Risky offload and just a, a hint of a knock-on. Oh, well, I'm in agreement there. It's getting a little bit tasty out here and you don't want to be doing that against Argentina. It's like poking a bear. Well, Felipe Del Mestre not agreeing three leaving early. with three the knock-on. Oh, Make sure he stays down. I can kind of it. understand there. Absolutely understand Moneta that one. tapping that back and then collecting it. I'm more concerned about the fact that it was clearly sighted. There was no wrapped tackle, which for the wider governance of the game would normally associate some form of further sanction. I think they might well be having conversations, coaching and referees after the game, of which is a great part of the game of sevens. They have those conversations regularly. Well, that was the man in question who put the shot in, Andrew Newstop, who was talismanic in Tokyo for these All Black Sevens. Wow, did he have an Olympics. But potentially lucky to still be on the field of play, now winning a penalty. Isn't it so that these things just get compounded? There are so many things flying around, that misconversion for Argentina, the fact they've given away more penalties in this game than they do on average for the season, giving the ball back to a team that you do not want to give possession to. And composure showing what they want to do, go for the line out. This is why New Zealand are so effective when they get their ball. They're really good at scoring from it. Argentina have had the lion's share of possession. You can see with some good graphics in the top left, doubling almost the number of passes, but then the offloads. Argentina aren't a team that offload the ball hugely. They carry the ball a lot, but don't look to run the risk. Some big men in there lifting Dixon. Not straight from the throw from Newstub. Little inaccuracies. I think I can spot a couple of cobwebs on these black jerseys, Rob Vickerman. Yeah, well, definitely a case in point to mention that, isn't it? These set-piece nuances, albeit they can spend time practicing, in this environment, in this humidity, 
in this pressurised cauldron that is a sevens field, it's a different concept completely. Or well, the new sub, you'd imagine, would be pretty on it than an ex-painter. Well, there's a QR code that has just appeared on your screen to accompany the departing of Andrew Newstub, and that is the best way to stay on top of the World 7 Series this season. You can scan it off your television right there, and it allows you to get a notification even when your specific nation is about to kick off, so you can stay on top of everybody, but particularly the nation that you support. And if you're an Argentina supporter, this is approaching a crucial time in this match against the New Zealand Sevens. Fresh legs on the field, fresh playmakers. Francisco Uloa in the nine jersey. He's entered the fray. Revol off the field. Defence is on top in this second half. Just obdurate. Argentina just looking to find any way to get around these all black defenders. That's Rocco Lucio. Tackle assist. And New Zealand again dropping that play back, meaning their defenders in that front line have to work so much harder. It's a pendulum shape, keep you abreast of it, but it takes away that threat Argentina have of kicking deep. Well, instead of going to the edges, they go through the middle, through the try score, and it gets them a bit of purchase and affords them the opportunity to then attack wide. Goodness me, it is hungry, hungry defence from the men in black, and they pour through the breakdown. Argentina fighting to retain that possession, but retain it they do. Flash it to Franco Sabato. The old stager who knows exactly where the whitewash is. He's wrestled to the floor and Argentina keep coming. Wonderful possession play from the hoop jerseys of South America. The All Blacks looking ragged and just as the canyon opened up, it ricocheted off the chest of the Argentinian runner, but there's a dangerous tackle in here and there could be a big card coming out. Well, it is a massive moment. The offload on the inside from Isgro was paved perfectly for Verifield. If he holds this ball, he walks in. Let's keep an eye on the tackles. Stixon's hit him late, definitely hit him late. Unneeded, unnecessary, and now chance for Argentina to carry on against six men, which really puts the pressure on this All Blacks team. Keep an eye on the shot. Dixon the, on the left-hand side. The ball's yeah. past Isgro. We're sub we're subbing this man. Not looking, not expecting it. Bit of a cheap shot, if we're honest. Well, it's almost a testament to the quality of the out-the-back door, though, from Isgro, who's still stricken on the floor. That it wasn't just Dixon seduced by him. There was another we're in there. Shake team. of the head. Trail Joas was the other one who was still following Isgro. But... Yellow card it is, Sam Dixon okay. in the bin. Six on seven, England versus Spain. Okay. Three minutes away, followed yep. by Australia and another returning nation, Samoa. Goodness me, how much will that mean to them to be back? And then an old classic, USA against Kenya. Last throw of the dice for Argentina here. Put it for goal. And are they going for goal? They're well, for goal. the lesser spotted penalty goal. Well, he hasn't struck it sweet and it's not going to sail over. The All Blacks happy to collect. And what an extraordinary decision and what an extraordinary end to a tense and taut game. Argentina go for the penalty with a man extra, they miss and they lose to New Zealand 12 points to 10 on the All Black.